Let me do it. Let me do this again. 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 And I am the host of the Real World J Podcast Show. I'm your host, Full Circle J. I kind of J. I am Podjatic J. Uh, I got a, uh, my host, uh, my host Mark Two Point Five. Half and nice. You know what I'm saying? Half and half and nice. Uh, twice as nice and half the time. I don't know why I get the rhyming on for 10, 10, 20 years. A mark two point five, two highs in the gram, two five. He's a, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my brother from another. So uh, today' topic of the show is uh, does money matter? Does money matter? And that's today. That's the uh, today's topic is does money matter? And, and and I'm gonna tell you, I think I mean I I mean I I think I I think and I know it does, but some people have different opinions. So we here. So if you want to chime in, uh, uh, join in, and get your thoughts in about that, or you feel that way, and I'm gonna give you reasons why I and I'm gonna and, and I'm gonna give you a top ten reasons why and give you explanations why money matters. All on here on the Real World J Podcast Show. I'm your host, Full Circle J. We're host Mark 2.5. We are here in the topic of Money Matters. And if you've been idle to the show, you know the show. And if you don't know the show, you've been idle to the show. If you're new to the show, then you know we start off with a song to get the vibe of the, uh, you know what I'm saying, get the vibe of the, you know what I'm saying, get the vibe of the show. And then we do it, and then we hit it with a quote, and then we get to the bones of the show. We get the bones of the talk show. And y'all can comment, comment, y'all comment, hit that join button. Like I said, the topic is the, the, the today is does money matter? I'm gonna take it up. It does. I'm gonna give you. I mean, I, and, and I'm gonna give you top ten reasons why money matters. And I'll take some form on the Real World J Podcast show. Let's go. Like I said, we start out with a quote. We start with us want to get the vibe of the show going, and we get a quote, and we get the show going. Here we go, Real World J Podcast Show, and and this is one of the reasons why money matters. Yo, World World J Podcast Show. That just facts right there. But I'm, I'm gonna, let's get to the quote of the show. The quote of the show today is Growth and comfort don't spend time in the same room. Real World J Podcast Show. I'm gonna run that back again. Quote of the day. Growth and comfort don't spend time in the same room.
how you expect to, you know what I'm saying? How you expect to grow, how you expect to grow, uh, going to a place that never, you know what I'm saying, that everything is dead. It's like, you call that your comfort zone, but that's, that's that really the danger zone, because everything, because that's the past. I'm walking, and you can't move forward, you know what I'm saying, if you always looking backwards. That what that means. Real World J Podcast Show. Let's go. I already dropped it. Yeah. So, shout out to everybody who's listening right now. We're going to get into it. Why money matters. Think about it. Ladies. If any ladies, if any ladies, any, if any ladies... Any lady, uh, well, this is a tri- this this is an all gender show, but I'm just, you know, what I'm saying, even any man, like man too, like for real, make it make sense. When I say this, it's gonna make sense. Like, why would you talk to somebody who didn't have a a, a job or a career path or a career? You want so you gonna talk to somebody who don't got a job or a career? So basically, you talking to so ladies, you gonna talk to a man who don't got a job? That is not okay. That is not okay. I don't care that the job you well, you know, they just trying to you know, you know, they just trying to find themselves. Well, let them find themselves by themselves, and then come hot and, and then come find you if you're still available. If you're good, when you're not gonna stay available for, for, for too long, money matters. Why would you talk to somebody first about the, off the jump? Why would you talk to somebody who ain't got a job? <laughs> Whatever they trying to get together, they need to get together itself. Cause you don't, you know what I mean. I mean, you can help put somebody on, but that I mean, nah, nah. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Money matters. If he, cause if he, had, cause if he don't got a job to me, he can't take you nowhere. Y'all can't go nowhere. Where y'all going? You got pay for everything. That, that's how y'all start. That's how y'all gonna end. Mm-hmm. Sometimes life hardships can, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Life, I, I, a lot of life hardships but, uh, uh, it, it, it because of bad decisions. Don't ever forget that. That's real. And you know what I'm saying? And money does, you know what I'm saying? And money does matter, you know what I'm saying? And man, I'm gonna tell you this. Money does matter. You can say you can you can say all the bullshit, you know what I'm saying, love and you know what I'm saying, and you know this and this and that. I get that. It's facts. Love can love can conquer all things. But like in relationship, you know what I'm saying, relationship in a marriage, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you can have love and all that kind of stuff, but the money ain't right, somebody a lot of things ain't gonna be right. So how does it not matter? Because like that's one thing, and man, if you don't know this, and I hope you do know this, but if you don't know this, one and, and a good one, you know what I'm saying, and, and a decent one, or a nice one, or one, a, a, a woman who makes sense, sustainability is very important to them. Find a woman who don't, sustainability don't matter to them, run away from them. Run away, love. <laughs> run away, love. And both sides. How dare you, you know what I'm saying? How dare you, know what I'm saying? How dare you be the person and they don't, and it don't matter where they live. That fucking matters. That's a, that's a character trait. Think about it. You with somebody, it don't matter where they live. No, it matter where I live. It matter what you can do. That it help us get where we need to go. Because you, if you if you with me, then you then you see, if you with me, you part of my dream. So you can, you know, say see part of my dream. So you help me with, you know, what I'm saying you you help me with some of it. That's what you call, you know, what I'm saying. That's what you call it. Nah, man, money you can't be, man. Nah, uh, uh-uh. uh. It 
And yeah, like, like, trust me, because everything else going to, everything else going to be right. Because trust me, women don't want to worry about, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 one day the lights going to cut off, or it, it, the rent going to get paid. This water going to get cut off. Like, they don't even want to think about that shit. Now, they, now they were a man, and that and 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 that is the stereotype, and that's a real thing, though. That's a real thing, that but you know what I'm saying. But more men should like, you know what I'm saying. More men should be like more more like that. Like I don't understand, I don't understand why it's not like that. Because I know all the real, you know what I'm saying. Because I, you know what I'm saying. Because I know all the real men who do that are successful in life. So I just made it make sense for me. You know, he's like, you gotta, like, you gotta make that shit make sense. Like, you can't be with somebody, like, 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 and you can't be with somebody, like, oh, yeah, money don't matter. Yeah, it does. Yes, it fucking does. Yes, it does. Because, like, you gotta, like, in the world, like, it's nothing free, like, it's literally nothing free in the world. So how you tell me money doesn't matter? They say water free, but you got to pay for it. How water free, but you know what I'm saying? But people dying of thirst. They let me know money. They let me know water ain't free. There ain't nothing free in this world. Shelter, or it wouldn't be no. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be some fucking homeless out here. Even the things that people need that they can't even get. Because they need money to get it. They don't give a damn. So you tell me, and you say, you say, you so, you gonna say you say money don't matter? When it does matter. And I'll take the form. Love and relationships. Tell me that you were a girl. And if, you know what I'm saying? Trust me. I know, trust me. I have talked to many, I have talked to, I have talked to plenty of women. You know what I'm saying? I have talked to plenty of women. And it'd be like, man, say. And heard stories and be like, man, say. The biggest issue, he'll be, he will be okay. He, he, will, he, he can make it being with her. If she wouldn't, if she, if she wouldn't always like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if she ain't to worry about the, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit, the, the other shit. You know what I'm saying? Once she come home, the lights gonna be off. You know what I'm saying? Like man, I'm gonna worry about that. You shouldn't even wanna worry about that. You if you wanna be on grind mode, you don't have to worry about that. You should already have a you know what I'm saying, I already have a grind state, you know what I'm saying, and be like, you know what I'm saying, everything gonna be okay because you know what I'm saying, you you doing something what you doing what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? So you get where you need to go. And that's part of it, you know what I'm saying? Like like you like like you can't have like you know what I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying, happy wife, happy life, but you know what I'm saying, but you gotta have you, know you gotta have some money in there. Make a happy, you know what I'm saying? Have a, have a happy wife. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a happy life. Like, that shit ain't cheap. Like, having a wife that ain't cheap. <laughs> having, a, having a girl, ha, have a, having a serious relationship with a, like, I'm just not with a girl with male, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? With, you know what I'm saying with a uh, with a significant other, it shit ain't cheap. If you if you put effort into it, if you put effort into it, you gonna you you gonna spend money into it. But trust me, a successful relationship, you know what I'm saying. A, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight up, a successful relationship is not a broke relationship, unless y'all unless y'all drug at it. And even at the even the time y'all drug at, y'all still trying to and money matters because y'all trying to do what y'all trying to do. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so y'all trying to get the money, so the money matters. Even at the lowest level. Even at the lowest fucking level, money matters. <laughs> and yeah, I would say being a dope ain't one of the lowest levels. Because that's, that's the ultimate choice. Every single day. I mean, you know, it could. It come to a point that you know, it, you know, you can't, you know, it, it take it take control. But until that day, that that to that starting day, until until you you know, until it takes control over you, you had every you had every single day. So.
that's why I don't feel for them. I just don't, I don't feel bad for them. But, but them, but them be the smartest ones, and they know how to get to the money. Imagine if they use all their energy to positive. Man, they're probably rich. A lot of me rich. So money's m- money even matter to the people that you even think is is like the lowest of the low. I don't think that low is the low, but you know what I'm saying. Some people do. Cause I say even you know what I'm saying. Cause you think somebody garbage, but I I tell you straight up, even the garbage can gets the steak. Shout out to everybody who's listening to the show, and if you want to chime in, if you want to come, you know what I'm saying. You want to hit that, uh, you want to hit that box, you know what I'm saying. Just hit it. I, yeah, I'm willing. To, you know what I'm saying. Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk. This is what we're here for, the Real World Day Podcast Show. I would love to hear from you. Just your thoughts. I want to hear what you think. What do you think? Do you think money matters? And why do you, you know what I'm saying? And did I hit some good parts? Because I think money matters in, 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 in a relationship. In, in a marriage. You know what I'm saying? And so tell me. So is, is, if it, is anybody on here? Is anybody on, is anybody on here think differently? And tell me why. I want to know. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Show me something that I'm missing. Who won the self the challenge? You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah. But it, you know what I'm saying? But it, you know what I'm saying? Like money even matter, you know what I'm saying? And friendship. You know what I'm saying? Friendships, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we always, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we we didn't we we got that friend or we didn't have that friend like he always paying for everything for him. You know what I mean? You know, see but then but but then when that becomes that problem, you know when yeah, it becomes a problem because then you turn but then you turn a little jaded toward that person. And they may and you know what I'm saying, they may be the most genuine person to you out of your whole circle. Cause to them, money doesn't matter. Even though if the you no know, say, cause them just like you no know, say, just being with you, that matters. Yeah, they need to get on their motherfucking ass and get some money and do what they need to do. But it's like, you know, you know, and I, you know what I'm saying, and I, and I had that friend in my life for a long time, and like I just always thought about it. I never thought about me just like I was. I'm always paying for me. I always thought about like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I want you to go. Like, I want you to be part of this memory. I want you to be part of this, you know what I'm saying? This thing. So money didn't matter to me <laughs> at that point. So I can switch it over to that. Money didn't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Like money doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Money doesn't matter because some because some things are priceless. Like family is priceless. You know what I'm saying? What you believe in is priceless. You know what I'm saying? Moments is priceless. You know what I'm saying? Money can't buy this. Money doesn't matter. And though, and and, and, and the important things, and the most important things, you know, the things that we cherish, money may help bring the scenery or whatever case may be, or, or help bring the moment. But, <clears throat> in the end of the day, no one couldn't pay you no money of that chair, you know what I'm saying, of that moment that you cherish. Because the thing that you cherish, there's a price and then the money doesn't, you know what I'm saying, money can't, you know what I'm saying, can't do nothing about that. And when you hold something like that, you know what I'm saying, like that, dear to you, don't let it go. If you let it go, somebody gonna get it for cheap. And they got a whole mother, you know what I'm saying? They got a million, you know what I'm saying? They got a million dollar prize and they already paid 25 cents for it. Money matters. You know what I'm saying? But even like I said, but even though that friend, but don't look that but don't look down on that friend because at the end of the day you could be that friend. 
and you want to show with us, and you show with you want nobody to look down on you. So I'm the type of person. If somebody look down on me, I if somebody look down on me, I break that lid. <laughs> I need to work on that. Real World J Podcast Show. You know? I'm on the human. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's just pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Like, money does matter. Like, trust me, because, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, trust me, like, man, trust me. I know men, like, trust me. I know women, like, be like, and man be like, man, she need a job, man. Like, why she with her job, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? We were doing so good. We were doing so good. You know what I'm saying? We were making this amount of money, and she just quit her job. This and this and this and this quick me just to hold it down. Yeah, that's kind of selfish. Like, I don't understand how people can, like, like make a life decision, but you got a partner, but you don't talk about it. You got a life partner, but you don't talk But you don't talk about the important thing about, you know what I'm saying, what, like, for aspects about y'all life. And it's money. <laughs> and a lot of people struggle because they don't communicate about money in their relationship because why I don't understand why people take it as a, as a, as like as a, a taboo topic in, in in your life because it matters. <laughs> it matters how it flows, where it goes, where it don't go, how, how much you saving, what you're not saving, or you saving. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? What, how, how much somebody really make? You know what I'm saying? Ah, well, how much they really make? Uh, you know, you you know, say so y'all need. You know what I'm saying? Like end of the day, if you calculate, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to worry about things being late. I'm just talking to you. I hope I'm just not talking through you. But, you know, uh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta think about that though. You gotta think about that shit though. You know, you know what I'm Calculate it. You don't think about things on being late. Cause it's like, <clears throat> like, and you gotta communicate. Cause I, I mean, I know people that don't communicate about finances and then that's why everything is, you know what I'm saying? It's a mess because y'all not talking about, y'all not talking about the mess and, and then y'all not trying to clean it up. When you talk about the mess, you'll clean it up because you, you recognize it and you know and you see for what it is and then you know what I clean it up to make it better. You know what I'm saying? That's the progress. You recognize it and then you execute. You know what I'm saying? But people don't even want to do that. So if the mess is gonna go keep growing and get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it becomes bigger than the relationship. Money becomes to be bigger than the relationship. If anybody that's been in that kind of relationship, you know what I'm talking about. For well, for somebody going through a relationship. You know what I mean? You you worry about more of what's going on around y'all instead of more focusing on between y'all two. And I understand that. Cause my world come around, cause 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 if my world is crumbling it down because of you, I ain't worried about you. I'm mad at you. You know what I'm saying? You need to help fix this. I don't need you on the Xbox while I'm out here trying to try, I'm not working at Target or whatever. Yeah, that be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at the office. You know what I'm saying? I'm free making. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if you make a hundred thousand dollars, if y'all live a five hundred thousand dollar life, you know what I'm saying? And he and he sitting at the house, y'all not gonna make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People be like, people don't understand like, like money, ca- like money issues cause troubles at the house. Tell me online. Even if you by yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause trust me, we didn't all, we didn't all had that first apartment. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Second apartment, whatever case may be. You know what I'm saying? Out there at our own. You know what I'm saying? We grown. You know what I'm saying? We wrong. We was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Got a job. Got a car. You know what I'm saying? Got a little apartment. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, it's real life. Man, that's like that shit be hitting every month. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we know we know the struggle. Even money matters when you, you know what I'm you by yourself. So when you with somebody, it really matters. And then you got somebody with you. Got somebody depending on you. And you depending on them. Man. Culture shock is really when you're depending on yourself. You're like, whoa. What was I thinking when I when I say, you know what, I'm gonna jump the buck when I make eleven thirteen. <laughs> eleven thirty hour. I say, you know what? I'm gonna jump the motherfucking boat when I make it eleven thirty one. Man, I said when I get to a certain point, I'm gonna jump the boat. <laughs> I said, man, I said when I make it eleven thirty, man, man, this was it. Man, this was better like back in the third though. I'm, I'm I'm 40, so you know, so I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm, I'm making them 30. I said, man, I, I already had, you know what I'm saying? I, this is back in 05, you know what I'm saying? So I already had my, I already had my kids, you know what I'm saying? I have my 05 kids, they had a brand new kid, with new, new year, new year, and I thought, I'm like, okay, I thought I was doing something, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? Boom. I was like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Jumped out there, got my first apartment, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, dang, this shit hard. I was like, damn. When somebody say they don't got no money, they 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 really mean that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you do got enough money just to last week for like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and maybe a snack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not what you say. You know what I'm saying? Talking about. Talking about reason, reason why people bring in that every day. You saving money, you save, you save, man, you save, uh, you man, you saving uh, like a hundred dollars a week. You know, you do a hundred dollars a week, man, where you by yourself and you trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You jumping up, jumping off the porch, and have a, have an extra hundred dollars a week, man. You be like, whoa, you be like, man, what? You even know what to do? You be like, man, I don't got no worries. <laughs> You know how we was back, you know, you young, you're 18, you know, you got your first born, whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? Imagine if you had an extra hundred dollars when you was out there <laughs> trying to figure it out, but you figured it out, though, but I'm saying, we all had to figure it, we all had to figure it out to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? Or, or even people who trying to figure it out now, but you don't figure it out if you said, if you said, I think, <laughs> man, I was like, so, for my first, for my first apartment, I was like, Man, I was like cool, and then I, and then my my rent was like, well my rent was like with like six fifty, and so and then my, and then so I was like they had a car, my car note was like like four fifty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got insurance. You know what I'm saying? I'm bumping off my mom's insurance. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and uh, I still got lights. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But then I had the nerve to put direct TV in that hole. <laughs> Man, talking about money matters. <laughs> my, I said, remember I was getting the number, the direct TV was like 125. Lights were like probably like $50 because it was just me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who uh, but I had uh, over, over, that's a lot of people, but still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had, had a bit. You know, so I had it in and out. I had it in and out, in and out. Back then, you know what I'm saying? Back then, you know, uh, I wasn't there because I was, you know, feeling, you know, allergies. Or oh, I was like not there because I was like driving around doing what I was doing, <laughs> going to you know what I'm saying, going to house to house, you know what I'm saying, whatever, doing what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, so I'm giving you all the numbers, and, and I said I remember I was making. 11.30 and I got paid every week. So I was making probably like, so I was doing like probably like, mm, like 50 hours a week. So I was like 50, probably 50, 50 hours, 53 hours a week. And so I always got the time. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. In the last, last night podcast, I was, I was at the early 30s. The, you know what I'm saying? And, and I ain't take an hour lunch. Took 30 minutes. It didn't matter. Should add up in a week. I just try to make it make sense.
came back then. But I was like, man. And so I used to so when I so so I know myself like man if I see money in my hand if I if I see money money gone if I see money it, you know what I'm saying cause money you know what I'm saying money is kind of like I won't say freedom but it is though you know what I'm saying money can get you you know what I'm saying where you want to go it can get you anywhere you got you know what I'm saying cash king so when I see money you know what I'm saying I just be like you know I'm already free but it's like you know. I get a push an extra but I, I get a I get a push a, a extra couple buttons, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, with that being said, it's like you know, damn. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, it's like I honestly lost my train of thought. Damn. I ain't never done that. I ain't never out of two hundred and like Six shows. I ain't never lost my train of thought. Or if I did, I had Mark with me, and he kind of and you know what I'm saying. But like, uh, but damn, I never got that. And I was going. I felt like I was going somewhere there too. I fucked that up. Mm. But you know, the show must go on. But yeah, no. Oh yeah, but I remember. Yeah, but like, oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I remember when. Yeah, so like I said, like, like, uh, like you know, so like Cash is King, and so it's like when, it's like for me, it's like freedom. <laughs> it's just, like I said, it just had me push a help a couple of buttons, or whatever. No, I don't repeat myself, but it's like, and then so, so for me, when I get paid, I can't see the money in my account like that so i was like so i was old school so i would take out like just say like my rent was like 650 so i got paid that every week so like four times a week so i would take out like you know like 200 and some you know 200 and like 50 dollars 270 80 280 like every single week i'll i'll, I'll, I'll go to the store take out 300 dollars buy a money order put it under my mattress and stack it every week until I got, you know what I'm saying? Boom. And whatever I had over, I just gave it to him. The bill was over. I don't, I don't, I can't do math right now, but. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You need to be fair. It's whatever. You never know. Credit add up to whatever something happens. Boom. There you go. Make it make sense. Real World J Podcast Show. You know, I try to make it make sense. Uh, you know, so uh, so that's how I survive. And then with my, you know what I'm saying? And I used to do this, you know what I'm saying? And I use the same thing, you know what I'm saying? I use the same thing, you know what I'm saying, with my, you know, my partner. You know what I'm saying? And then. After that, whatever I had left is what I had left. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, I had that, I had that extra overtime because I stayed, I came in at 8.30. You know what I'm saying? Stayed in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Didn't take the hour once, you know what I'm saying? To the 30, you know what I'm saying? To stay after whenever, how long I needed to, how long they wanted me to, you know what I'm saying? Because still, I still wanted to have all that, I still wanted to have all that, that I wanted, but still wanted to live, but still wanted to enjoy life. And you need money to enjoy life. Enjoying life ain't all kissing and hugging. Cause it matters sometimes where you, you know, where you kissing and hugging. You can't be in the room all the time. Imagine kissing your wife or your husband or your significant other. You know what I'm saying? On the beach in Hawaii. I done it. It can be done. Money matters. That shit got some money to get that. Not a lot of money. Well, it takes money. It takes more than a dream. And you gotta have more than a dream.
I said, anybody, like I said, anybody want to join in, you know what I'm saying? Hit that join button. Tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? Because I think money makes women, you know what I'm saying? Make, I think money even, you know what I'm saying, affects their, I mean, I think money even affects women emotions, like, even, like, their sexual, like, emotions and their desires. If the, if the money ain't right, if they're with somebody. Because, I mean, I think they'll probably, like, some women, they probably take them out the mood. The woman, cause I don't know what woman don't like money, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't mind throwing money in the air if they could. And it was their money. Y'all money. For sure, you know what I'm saying? All women don't want to get rained on. Sometimes they want to rain on. You know what I'm saying? And they do. Yeah, like I said, I think, you know what I'm saying, like, I think money, like, like, even somebody, like, like, even, like, somebody, like, even, like, sexual, like, sexual desires, like, even if you say, hey, yeah, I want to go uh, to, you know what I'm saying, uh, to music park, and, you know what I'm saying, well, you know, make a lay up on the first wheel. Well, it costs money to get to the first wheel. <laughs> get to the, get to the, we got to get it. You got Sandra on the guest on the Real World J Podcast show in three, two, one. Let's go. How you doing, Miss Sandra? I'm doing well. Uh, how are you doing? I can't complain. How about yourself? Yeah, uh, you know, I was thinking about money. I just saw, I just logged in, hopped on, and... Uh, uh, I just saw the title, Money Matters. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I see it, uh, especially in the spiritual community, it's a lot about manifesting money and money should flow and like it was some kind of success to have money. Right. And um, I believe that the less you have, the better you feel and the less you need. Um, and there are people that get a lot of money and then they change, you know, they just want more and more. Right. Kind of escalating. It turns to greed. Right. You're saying it turns to greed, right? Sorry? You say it turns to greed? Yeah, yeah. It turns to greed. Mm -hmm. And greed turns to kind of... Godlike. Kind of, uh, Godlike. Uh, 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 it turned to like a god light complex. Uh, god light complex. Yeah, that's what I would call it. What is that? Uh, like uh, going through life, uh, uh, walking through life with no consequences, feeling like you have no like whatever you do doesn't matter, and you and and you walk around with no consequences. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They get less. Uh, Less emotional intelligence when it comes to understanding that yeah. other people can can feel well. Yeah, the empathy. There's a study uh, that says that um, rich people or wealthy people have a lower emo emotional M uh, IQ and or EQ, and then they can. Like, for instance, if they walk on the street by a homeless person, they just walk by and they don't even look at the person. They don't have any empath empathy. Empathy, right. You could at least leave a smile. Uh, or, and uh, it's the poor people that gives to the poor people because they know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't blame the wealthy people for their state of mind. I mean, they can't really understand the uh what it feels like right you don't know what you know right mm. 
Yeah, you don't know what you know. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Miss Anderson. Uh, 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 right. I mean, I would say like you wouldn't like you would think somebody who came from nothing from something wouldn't like under like it wouldn't be full circle for them. So they understand like they know, and you don't think like they wouldn't get back. You think they would lose? You think everybody who who are rich like lose themselves? And you think? Yeah, and you think? And you think that, uh, and you think that no rich people or wealthy people are, are has no humidity or or no harmonious to them. Uh, of course, people, that, well, that, some of them, but mostly, because uh, money is kind of um, a disease. Mm mm. Ha. And. Uh, Sorry? No, I say you think money is a disease? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How so? It's, uh, How so? Yeah, because um, people who get wealthy, they can buy what they want, they can do what they want. And uh, it, some extreme example is like artists, for example. Mm -hmm. Like musical artists, for instance. It's so at such a high percentage of them that uh, <clears throat> they, they, people search for kicks in life and as I said the less you have the less you want no but no that's not true that's not, I, I, I don't believe that's true I do not believe that's true okay well it's not for me anyhow okay search for serotonin kicks in life and people get more serotonin and dopamine when they get things that they get addicted to so in the musical industry it's a lot of addiction and it's also they start you know when they can't buy more they can't be more appreciated and everything because then they start to like make plastic surgery and they like dive from airplanes, they have to do do anything, you know, to get a higher kick all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, they need more and more and more. And I'm not talking about all of them, mm -hmm. but like ninety percent or eighty percent of them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think that's. I mean, that's on an individual basis. And also, I mean, I. I mean, I. I think. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I think um, I think I don't think like money is a disease because like a disease is a disease like money like, like money like it's what you know what I'm saying you choose it's like you choose if money gonna change you or gonna take over you or you let whatever money brings to you you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying like take over you you know what I mean like it's all it's all about choice you know what I mean it's all about you know what I'm saying it's all about it's choice. About choice. Choice, but it's not so easy to make a good choice when you don't have uh, emotional intelligence. It's not so easy for them. Do you understand? I do understand that. I do. I do understand yeah. that a hundred percent. Yeah, because like if if you weren't taught that, then I mean, some like some of that is taught. You, you have you have to be taught that. You never taught that. You don't know that. Then you don't know how to react. To certain to, to to certain things, so I understand that a hundred percent. I'm saying, or sometimes you just not, you know, sometimes you need to tell that it's a lot of rich people that that are, that are not intelligent. We know this. You know what I'm saying, like we know this, but it's like it's not their fault. No, it's not their fault. And I mean, I've I've been very poor in my life. I've had a lot of money in my life. Right. And I I have. Uh, Mostly the middle class, and there's there's there you go. there's my place, you know. There you go. Me, because I believe everyone should be middle class, equal. Do you? You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because uh, that would create a better environment.
environment for everyone. So you think everybody should, so you think everybody should have equal income, no matter what they do. Uh, uh, yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, actually, I do. Yes. If you think about it, right? That's what you're saying, right? You say everybody should be the same, so that so every so everybody, no matter what they do in life, they should have equal income, right? That's a hard thing to sell. Yeah, of course. But that's how it should be. No. According to me. According to me. Right, 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 right. No, no, of course, of course. Yeah, it's your, it's, you know, it's you. It's, of course, it's your thoughts. It's your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's your, it's what you believe oh, yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm down with it. I, 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 that's why we're here. I'm here to listen and learn. Tell me more. Yeah. Exactly. And to sell to people of course mm -hmm. because we have a certain uh, uh, mindset uh, established in the uh -oh. uh, uh -oh. in, in the western world that makes us think in a certain way that people that have uh, like a lot of degrees they have spent money on that and everything they became a doctor and then they should have more money because of that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so, because then they didn't do it for the right person, uh, um, for the right purpose. Mm -hmm. so oh, right. Purpose is to, if you want to be a doctor, you should do it because you want to help people. Absolutely. Not because you want prestige and uh, a lot of money. Right. That's not that. That's not what that's about. You're absolutely yeah, exactly. right. But I also believe, but I'm a type of person, but I believe that it's levels in life. And like, and so it's levels in life, right? It's, it's, it's levels of life and whatever, like whatever, your, like whatever, like whatever, beauty is behind other beholders. So whatever your, whatever is success in your life is, it's success in your life. It's, it's, it's what you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? It's what your level. But I believe in level because it's, it's levels. So I, me personally, I strive to, I strive to be on, I, I strive to be, and I want to be on the highest level because I want to bring my goal, my goal and my dream and my life is to bring generational wealth to my family. That's my goal and my dream. So we're on two sides of the fence. So you don't believe in that when you get a lot more money than you need, you're not gonna start like a charity or. Uh, I'm gonna do all that. Money to the poor. I do that now. I'm my thing is like when I get more money, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger because that's because that's where my heart is. Because that's what my heart is. My heart is where my heart, and where my heart is where my passion is, and that's where it goes. What's your main reason for wanting to be wealthy? To have generational wealth for my, for, uh, for my for my family. For your family. Yeah, for my family. So for my family, so so my so my, so we can help others. Cause cause I want the world to be a better place. You know what I mean? And we gotta have better people to have a better world. Oh, well, that's good. To help other people because absolutely. I heard a, I heard a quote and it was really good. It's like they say money can't buy happiness. Yes, it can if you give it away. If you give it to the right, if you give it to if you give it the right way, and and and, and the right way, and the right, the right way, way, and you give it to the right people, and if you give it to the right, you know, if you give it to the right people, you can't, can you, you just can't throw money in the earth because anybody can catch it. Sorry. I said, yeah, you just can't throw money in the earth. Cause anybody can can just catch it. So you gotta, uh, uh, you know, what I'm saying you gotta make it count. So you gotta. Put put it in the right hands, but yeah, I want to help. I want to have generation wealth help so I can help people because I want the world to be a better place. That's why I'm here, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and it you know and it take money. You know what I'm saying. It take money and it take good people to make that happen. So okay. and so and so and my point and so it's like so, and this not gonna be me and my family. That's what that's gonna what we're gonna do. I 
and I our mission is to help, you know what I'm saying, is to you know what I'm saying, is to make the help world a better place, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A equal yeah. place in so in, in so many other ways, you know what I mean? Like you know, if other people feel good, then you would feel better. But it's not even about me. That's see, that's see, that's see, that's the, see, that's how much gene see, 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 that's unconditional love. How much I unconditional love I have for the world, you know what I'm saying? And 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 have for the people in the world. And I say I don't think it's not about me. I don't even think about me. I I'm doing it because I, I feel like I know I don't feel like that's my duty. Like why be why be like why add to you know what I'm saying? Why add to like to the negative? You know what I'm saying? Go to it to the positive. You know what I'm saying? If, if you want, if you want to see things, if you want to see things change, then you have to change, and then you got, you know what I'm saying? And you got to be with the people who want to make things change because you know the bigger the crowd, you know what I'm saying? The bigger the roar, you know what I'm saying? And the and the, and the bigger the punch. So, but it takes money to do all that, and I gotta add money to, and I and I gotta help the, and, and I gotta help the, I gotta help the people who want to help make the world. Make the world better. I gotta contribute to that. Yeah, because it feels good when you help people, so they feel better. I, I feel like, I, th like when I do it, I mean, whenever I, I do it every day, whenever I do it, I feel like I'm just doing a service to I'm I'm just doing a service to the all the good people who's good to me. I'm just man, I'm just paying it forward. Good to you, not to people that. Yeah. Good to you. Yeah, I'm just paying it forward. I'm just paying it forward. Oh. I'm just paying it forward. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But yeah. It, it take money. But, but it take money. But it take money to do that. Cause nobody, cause nobody, cause you know what I'm saying. Nobody, you know what I'm saying. Nobody, n nobody gonna listen too long to. Cause end of the day, nobody gonna listen. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna have a conversation with too long with a person who's broke. Nobody has a long conversation with a homeless person. I mean, I mean, I bet if you would, you want to break it down. You just want to be real about it. But you talk to somebody on a long conversation, if they had me, you know what I'm saying, they're a millionaire. See? You can't tell the money don't matter. But I, I guess you're from America, right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. And uh, uh, our cultures are... Um, different where are you from so sweden nice nice yeah uh, and here it's like um no one like brags about money it's not that money is evil it's that, that no one brags about it and people don't show how much some do of course of some course percentage. Yeah. Like around in, uh, you know, like this expensive cars and like, yeah, I'm better than you. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's our kind of people at, in our parts of the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, they're what makes the world. Uh, I get that. Um, yeah, and so we have another view on money, I guess. Not all of us. I don't, I don't generalize, but most of us mm -hmm. have a kind of relaxed uh, relationship with uh, money. It doesn't matter how much money you have; it's how good you are as a person. Absolutely, that's the only thing that does matter. They don't. I mean, there's no. I mean that. I mean, I mean that. I mean that's like that's like eighty percent of it. That's eighty. The other twenty is the hustle. The, yeah, eighty percent of it is, is is how how you know what I'm saying how you know, how wonderful your person is. But the other twenty percent though, that money matters though. So you telling me, okay, per, okay, I'm gonna ask you as a woman, right? As a woman. Okay. As a woman, I'm gonna ask you as a woman. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna ask you as a woman, and this is gonna be this is real world J show. So this is trust me. It, it, this is a great question, and I want you to, and I want you to answer me 
I, I, well, I would like for you to answer me very blunt, directly, and honestly. Can you can you do that on a Real World J podcast show? Of course I can. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Would you date a man if he didn't have a job? Yes. What? Why? And and, and explain why. Yeah, yeah. So ask why and why. You would? Why? Because I don't know why in the beginning he doesn't have any job. And that's a problem. That's not a problem? It's, it's not about, no. It's not about if he has a job or not. It's about his personality and how, if it's if it's funny, if it's nice to talk to him, if uh, he has uh, intelligence, if he's open to uh, all possibilities, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but how long that lasts? But how long does that last, though? Person that's looking for <laughs> a job. See how long, but, but tell me how long does that last for you? Then, see, since you said you have dated somebody out the jump who don't have a job, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, but how long did that last for you? A couple months? A, a weeks? What days? What? It will last. I don't know how it, long it would last. I haven't been in that kind of relationship, but oh, you haven't. Uh, but you know you but but you know you wouldn't mind. You haven't, but you know you wouldn't mind. Okay, I understand. And uh, you know, if we can build each other up, maybe he will find the kind of job that he wants. Oh, cause you, and, uh, cause find you have the happiness in that. So you helping? So you helping him find his goals? So. So, so basically, you helping him find his goal and his dreams, right? Yeah. So, w- would you? So, you wouldn't rather have a man that already had, but already had that. You know, it's like uh, <laughs> it's like it's equal. No, no, it ain't. No, uh, could you? It was that pause you got. Like, I mean, you know, what? So, if a do have, if a do have, everything got, it, it do got it, everything together. Like, come on now, We're, uh, that ain't equal. How's that equal? But he's, he, it's equal because. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you how it's not equal. So, a man who don't got a job. You know what I'm saying? But he treats you like a queen. A man who, I mean, a, a, like a man who got everything together and treats you like a queen. How is that equal? That, that number doesn't even add up. That's two to one. Because you're a better person if you have a lot of money and a job, of course. No, I'm saying, no, no, no. That was not my conversation. Okay. Miss Sandra, my conversation was if you got this guy. Who treats you like a, he doesn't have a job and he treats you like a queen. Correct, right? Number A, right? And then you got number B, who treats you like a queen, but has everything together. Which yeah, which one are you gonna pick? Have everything together to be like an equal to another person. I'm saying which one will you pick? Hanging out with most. But I said both of them treat you like a queen. Both of them treat you, you feel the same way. Yeah, if we've been there. I've been in a situation to have been in love with. Two I, I want to love. I was talking about like just, just, just straight logistics, like, <laughs> like you know, like so, so much. So you, so you say money really doesn't matter to you. Sure, it sure doesn't. I applaud you. You said, ma'am? Still there? Oh, yes, I was applauding you. Uh, Of course I would. uh, What did 
you say the last time, the last question? Oh no, I said you. Oh no, I said you want to talk to the guy who who, who treats like a queen, but he had everything together. But you said money doesn't matter to you, so I guess the question is irrelevant, right? Or, or, or what you thinking? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't get you now. No, I'm saying like, would you like? Okay, so do you want to? You want me to repeat my question? Yeah. All right, I got it. I want. I want to repeat my question myself. Okay, so if you had a guy who didn't, so remember we talk. Remember we talking to this guy who don't got no money. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But he don't got a job, but he treats you like a queen, right? Remember we talking about that guy? And then what if? What if a guy, what if you had a guy that had, but treat, he treated you like a queen, but he had everything together? Which one would you pick? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that's a, like such a, um, that question is a bit vague. It's so mean. It ain't big. It's mean. Is cause it, 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 cause it? No, it's rude. It's it's a rude question. That's what it is. I realize what I did. If it's rude. It's kind of an interesting question, but because uh, I will talk to because like okay, honestly, honestly, me J, real real J podcast show. I'm gonna tell you straight up. If I had a girl, if I had a girl. That that you know what I'm saying that that, that that who treated me like a king who didn't have a job and then and had a girl who treated me like a queen I mean I mean I mean treated me like a king but she had, but she had everything going I'm gonna go with the girl who had everything going <laughs> that just straight up because it matters even if even if they are equal in personality yep because okay. that for me for me for me that's the advantage. For me, that for me, that's the breakaway. For me, that's the advantage that she, she you you have. Yeah. Cause we can go places. Because we can go places. We can do things. We can dream. We we can build off each other. Yeah, but you can do that even if you don't have a job. I know, but I don't want to. But I but I don't want to start. But I don't want to start the starting line though. Maybe maybe I'm at the middle. Maybe maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe she's starting at the far you know that she's starting at the starting line and I'm already at the middle of my marathon. I don't want to go backwards, go forward. Yeah, but uh let me ask you something. How do you uh define success? Uh it I I I define success I, I define success Oh, it's just on whatever you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you know it's like they say, like the beauty, it, it, it's the eye of the beauty of the beholder. You know what I mean? It's like whatever you define the sense it, it, it's, it's, it's your, you know, it's, it's your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different with different people. So it, it I don't have a like, a, a, like a measure or anything like that. It's just like whatever you define it. It doesn't matter what people think. It, I don't know. It, I don't think what makes you happy. It makes you feel comfortable. Success yeah, is. But you, per you personally, how do you uh, define success? What is success for you? Personally, oh, personally, for me personally, Jesse Morgan, that was you asking me. Yeah. I already told you that I have generational wealth for my family. You know what I'm saying? For, I mean, for my family, so I can help the world. Yeah. That's success for me. Helping the world, making the world a better place, and I know I need money to do that. So I got to, yeah. so so I got to work hard to generate it. For it. I'm not working, I'm working for my family and for the world, for the world, for the world. This is my family. Mm. But would you still live as middle class if you had, if you were successful in the sense that you define it? No. Because it's another level. Oh. It's another level, and I and I want to jump to it. 
Oh, I have another guest uh, who want to jump on me. Sandra, I love, appreciate you for joining the Real J Podcast show. Please continue to listen. We, uh, we are uh, uh, we are having Matt Aldrich on the show. I hope I pronounced your last name right. I really appreciate you. We're going to swap it right now. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Appreciate you. <laughs> and guests in three, two, one. I really appreciate you, Miss Sandra. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I was listening carefully with with your conversation. It's kind of funny, um, well, um, in a way, to because you you were trying to both say what you're trying to say, but couldn't couldn't say it. I was like back here. I was like, oh, I was trying to. That's what he's trying to say. I'm trying to tell you that that's what he's trying to say because she thought you were you were talking about two guys at the same time. Right. Right. <laughs> it was just a comparison. What it, exactly. Comparison? these two guys exactly that's exactly what i was saying it is curious because you don't always you, I, I might have i thought of it, my opinion when you guys were talking about that i would i would it wouldn't matter but then if i saw the same comparison with the early guy that got on, got on had everything going in both ways i'd be like wouldn't it wouldn't it be easier if if she had more money Right. So automatic answer. My 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 moral answer wouldn't be oh the rich girl. It'd be like well it would depend. Right. You think of the actual easy easierness, but um you know I because I never thought I didn't know I had that alternate possible answer while you guys were discussing that. Mm-hmm. And it I think it it shows honesty in in, in that with me because I was like wait a second. It, it's not just easier, but like you know, uh, comfort more comfortable. Yeah. To stress, go through it all again, like you were saying. Right, and then you be able to like, and and then somebody can help you help, like somebody can help you build like build your dreams or conquer your dreams faster. Like you don't have to like, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to go back or go forward. It's like we already done that. We've been there. You know what I'm saying? I think the overall answer would be any of them because it would be about love. Period. Wouldn't yeah. Really nothing to do with money. At all, um, when it comes to love, it doesn't matter. Like, like so many girls turned me down, you know, before in my life because of that of a different of a status thing. Not mm-hmm. my personality, not my care, not my treating like a queen. It didn't matter because I wasn't either at her level or above her level mm. financially. Mm, that's so, right. And every time, it almost seems like it has to be a financial bigger or equal to her or she's not secure with a relationship and that really made me like upset i was like are you serious but it's like you but you know like sustainability but like like, sustainability is important in a lot of women you know that right like you know sustainability is very important it is a very important in my opinion that's what they think more aligns than guys guys think about uh, more of a, I wouldn't say like relationship, but like a family type of building type of type of thing. And the women think of it as, uh, I'm gonna be safe, maybe safe. No, but that, but that, but but also that's the same thing a guy took because you build, because you build a foundation so everything can be safe. Yeah, for us, it's it, it's kind of the opposite because we're trying to build up a trust uh, strength. And, and Not, for me. Not for me. Not for me. I'm building. For, I'm building that foundation. So I'm building foundation so no one has to worry. That's the point. So I don't. If, if I don't worry, nobody worries. I'm building yeah, foundation. So I, I definitely see that. That that makes perfect sense because you are helping on a massive scale that way. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. It's a value to you. That is your value. Exactly. That's how I'm saying. So like, nah. That's that's how I look at. It. That's how and that's how you do it. Like that's how when you do it that way, nobody. Nobody, you don't have to worry about it because you know what I mean, and and that's 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 what it is. That's what it is. And I have to say the same thing about the girls who decided they wanted to not be with me because of my finance. I can't judge that because it's their value. Exactly. It's like it's like it's their standard. Like you know, what I'm saying like you go like like how dare you like just like somebody like how dare you, like how dare somebody knock you for your standards how dare you knock somebody for theirs right because wouldn't you be like so 
You would you be like, Doug, get the fuck. Like, you know what I mean? You seriously, no, really, right. If your morals, your principles, somebody step on them, you know what I'm saying? You should have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what that is. So you telling me that you you, you no, like you can't tell me that I'm wrong and I'm right. It's not a breaking of trust thing if someone has their own value again, uh, you know, right. conversely to yours. Mm -hmm. And it's a trust of breaking if it's already agreed upon of some sort and you've already been there and then they decide to be like that. That's that, that in my opinion, it seems like get more of a validation of complaint. Oh, I got what you mean. Like when the money's good, but when the money dry, they gone. That's what you talking about? No, I, I mean like when it's already been, um, you know, agreed upon, and you're in a relationship, or you're married, or you're on your way to be married, and you know, we having this and having that, and then then standards change from the other person. Oh, um, that's like a breaking of trust because that's not what they agreed on at first. Like I agree. There's, uh huh. There's something else, else that they're wanting. Yeah, and that makes the yeah, and that makes the uh, and, and and that makes the other person jaded. Oh yeah. Yep, it makes the other person jaded. Yep, and and it, it doesn't much, and then and then and when you and then we turn jaded, that takes that kind of takes the that's the uh the wind at your sail, as they say. If you wanted, to, you know what I'm saying, wanted to grind hard, just just not for yourself, but like for uh, I mean, just for everybody, you know what I'm saying for. You know, you should be like, what's this for? But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it for her anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because she ain't doing nothing. But, it's, but at the end of the day, you got to be like, it's it, it not, it, 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 at the end of the day, when you started it, it wasn't a, it wasn't about, it wasn't for her. It wasn't about her. It's about you. So make it about you. Know, you. It happens over and over again about relationships where they say, like, they know each other while they say one and say doesn't want to be with them. And then later on, their standards change. Then it's a different agreement, just like coming up or down in price and, you know, trying to figure stuff out. Um, I'm not trying mm -hmm. to compare it with money. I'm just trying to compare it with measure. Yeah. It's, trying to oh, no, I got you. I'm following you for sure. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm following you for sure. Like, no, but with, but with relationships, like, like, you got, but we're, but, but with agreements though, but but with agreements though, can be renegotiated though when both parties when both parties try. Yeah. And put effort in, you know what I'm saying, and, and put, and, you know what I'm saying, and, and come back to negotiating the table, and you know what I'm saying, and re-agree. It, it, it comes down to it. One person's gonna be either strong and strong, the other person's strong and strong until. Um, it, it didn't work out because the other person didn't have enough strength in one category or another. One reason or another, um, sometimes it fails that way. Or you know, it works out great because they just, uh, it worked out. It's not because they didn't try, uh, it, or, you know, either way. It, it sometimes works out and sometimes it doesn't. You know why, you know why a lot of, 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 you know a lot of um, relationships uh, fail? Because of uh, because of lack of communication. Yeah, and that that's something that you, that is uh, something that's not an accident. That, that's something that you on purpose. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a choice. That's a choice. Yep. Yep. That's an absolute choice. Mm -hmm. I agree with that hundred percent. You know it. And then the, the biggest thing in, I think in a relationship is not knowing who they are. Sometimes people don't know who they were because they rushed into it, or they they already ex they they um they didn't really investigate what the they were like compared to the you compared to you. They're, you're uh, because you got to be careful about what um they, who they really are before it gets to a certain point where it, it starts to hurt. When there's a breakup or, or a potential breakup, an argument. Yeah, it's just not. I mean, it, it's just not paying attention to who. You, basically, you're just saying somebody. Uh, I mean, you're just not paying attention to who you with. You know, what I mean, you're just going through the moment, but not re, but not really looking at the person because the person will show you because a, a person will show you who they really are if you really pay attention. You know, what I'm saying yes. who was what, what's really going on. Because, but sometimes it doesn't take a lot of practice. Sometimes you just get in a good relationship at a younger age or older age, and um, it works because the circumstance 
it's not all about trying. It's all about how good a person you are and they, uh, and, they, and them too. So many factors. You said, what was the last part you said? So many factors. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean, that, I mean, because love, trust, uh, you know what I'm saying, security, um, accountability. Um, that's one thing a lot of, uh, like a lot of, uh, like a lot of, uh, lot of uh, like a lot of, a lot of relationships fail because of lack of, of, of accountability. Right. You are over there? I see, <laughs> but yeah, I, accountability, not holding uh, 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 each other accountable for actions, for, you know what I'm saying, for words, for, you know, atrocities, everything, you know, if you say you want to be with that person, then you got to, like, hold them accountable, if you want them, if, because if you can't hold somebody accountable, if you have someone in your life that she can't hold accountable, then they should be in your. They shouldn't be in your life. Yeah, and if there's uh, if there's not a cooperation on the other part, like let's say you're trying to get it, let's let's, let's talk about this. Go and ahead. They never talk about it, and they never talk about it, and it gets worse. It's it's uh that's that's pull the pluggable, and it, I think it, 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 it doesn't matter how long it's been, like how what is it worth right now? Um, is it it's already worth a lot to you, but that person is not paying attention to trying to uh, repair. I just say they don't care. <laughs> yeah, or they're not right for you. One of the two. It's the same thing. It's the same damn thing. If you don't care, then you're not the right one for me. You know what I mean? But trust me, when some important to you, I'm gonna care because you know what I'm saying. Because it could, could, because it matters to you. I think some people are like lost. So those sometimes, like my uh, my um, ex, you know, my the mom, my uh, daughter's mother. Had, um, both of us weren't really that stable and grown up when we met, and mm -hmm. uh, we didn't. There's a lot of things we didn't know. Talk that, that story was wrong, or not compatible with each other. So I think if that one introspection would be the fact that if you didn't know, and there's some kind of doubt, there's some kind of thing. What's going on here? Is to look into that, like you, you know, talking about it. If that doesn't work, uh, uh, a counselor or some sort of a friend. Oh, you talking about uh, like marriage counseling and stuff like that, and relationship counseling? Can't hear their perspective. You literally can't. They can't hear yours. It's not necessarily a relationship problem. It, it's a communicative problem that could be yeah. deeply impacted. Yeah, because like, like it, like I'm funny, like, like I'm funny. Cause I'm like, like I'm funny like this. Like I believe in like marriage counseling, but I don't believe in, in relationship counseling. I feel like if we gotta go to counseling in a relationship, I feel like man, shit, that that's it right there. Like what are we doing? Like, we doing way too much to stay together. Yeah. Like what are we doing? What, what, what? Come on now. What are we doing? You gonna like go counseling? Man, come on now. You man, you, you do that when you you know what I'm saying? Like when you're on the other level. You don't do that when you're on the on the dating level. You do that on a different level. It's levels to it. For me, we were together for several years without being married. Um, you know, we didn't, we weren't, we were basically married without the, you know. Yeah, without the paperwork. Without the paperwork. Yeah, exactly. And then what happened? What happened? Um, What's the story, we man? That we didn't know each Could... other. We weren't stable at the time, either of us. We didn't know, and uh, we weren't really prepared, and we weren't, uh, any of that uh we were we were uh we didn't know that it was we weren't right for each other from the get-go mm -hmm. there was no problem i mean there's several problems along the way but there and there was no initial problem that we saw we saw nothing we just saw that we wanted to be together love is blind ain't it oh yeah love is blind when you're not looking
Love is blind when you're not looking. When you're just in the moment and not paying attention. That's all it was. And then... I wasn't honest with myself. I, I wasn't... It, it, there was no enough... There wasn't enough connection. Uh, there wasn't enough um, real relationship going on. And it went, and we just kept going on like that, struggling and struggling. Until it just, just, just fell apart. Right. Right. Because y'all wasn't building with each other. Right. Nope. nope. Right. Yeah, no foundation, no foundation to build on. So it's just gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's it just gonna fade away. It's just gonna blow away. How you, you know what I'm saying? So how long that been? Um, 2016. Oh, uh, how you still? Do you still feel strongly about her? I mean, I mean, do you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, you, you, I mean, I, I only ask you, you brought her up, or you just bring it up a story? Because either or, I mean, we can talk about it. It's an example, but it can, yeah, I, I, we can talk about that. I mean, let's uh, talk about it. Yeah. That's why I, we're here. I don't, I'm, I'm not even um, worried about a, a relationship with a woman right now because I'm um, focused on being a dad to my seven year old daughter. And I'm not in any point in my life where I, I can provide uh, the big old family, you know, with my, my income. Mm -hmm. and my situation and i'm trying to better myself out of something out of the hole that i was in um not i mean about my disability i was trying to become um able to perform like an adult even though i was 33 when it started out when i when i could have been um you know had a career and a family and a, and a car to house and all that but um, I don't, I don't, I don't look back and say, "Oh, I wish that would have been different." I, I think that I'm glad that I met um, Jenny, mm -hmm. and that we that we had Lexi brought into this world, and that's that's the as far as I can see, that's the point of being here for my life is mm -hmm. for, her, for my daughter. Yeah, maybe that was the whole point of relationship. Well, you bring her, your daughter bring, you know what I'm saying? Your daughter in the world, and that's and that's that's it. Yeah. If, if you look at it that way, you good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate you joining the Real World J Podcast show. Yeah, it's been really uh, um, helpful to talk about a relationship. I've been talking about, um, you know, spiritual and talking about politics or this and that, but I haven't really talked about this kind of thing for a long time. Man, that's beautiful, and like we heard, and uh, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you for jumping on. You can jump on any time. Like I said, I enjoy people, you know what I'm saying, just just, just, tell me, just telling the stories. I love your stories, and I really appreciate you for being comfortable and, 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 and trusting me, you know what I mean, with the story. That means it's a lot. It's story because it's everybody's story. Yes, it is. Yes, it we is. Have, we don't even have to talk about like uh, wives or girlfriends. We can talk about relationships that if, uh, have all to do with what we were talking about in some way. I, absolutely. Things like that. Mm hmm Absolutely. That's the right. I appreciate you, brother. I thank you. We really appreciate you for joining the Real World J Podcast show. Man, y'all can download us uh, on all major platforms. Uh, you can uh, subscribe us, uh, like us, the Real World J Podcast show uh, on, uh, uh, on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can see us live. You can see us live. You can see me live. You can see me live. I'm a real person. I look like what I'm on the picture. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So and you can uh, you can listen on all major platforms on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, I, I, Apple, uh, All Heart Radio. You can you know just type in the Real World J Podcast. So and you know I really appreciate y'all for joining in for joining in. I feel like this been a great show, man. I love with the guests. I love 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 when, when guests come in. I love. I just I, I just really love. I really I just really appreciate it. And shout out to the sixty four listeners. The, the listening to the Real World J podcast show. I'm your host, Full Circle J.
unapologetic, Jay. Love every, love everybody in the world, Jay. We'll host more 2.5. That's the Real World J Podcast Show. I love y'all. I'm out.